guys, it's me, Jody from O'Neill Steals, and I'm back with another video for you today. Today is going to be a haul video. I did go to Value Village today. Uh, they had half off of purple tags, but I didn't buy anything that was purple tags, I'm pretty sure. But I just wanted to pop in, see what they had, and I found one thing that then sparked me looking through like everything. So, <laughs> you guys ever have those moments? If you are new to my channel, I am a part-time reseller. I find things at thrift stores, buy sell trade stores, on the internet, to then flip myself on the internet. <laughs> yes, it's real. Yes, it's a business. Yes, I pay taxes. <laughs> That's not funny. Taxes are not fun. Um, <laughs> I'm going to show you guys what I found to resell. And I did pay up for quite a few of these things. My cat is here hanging out with me. Very interested in this receipt. Um, I got 10 items, so it's not like the world's longest haul, so I apologize if you like longer videos. This will be a short video. Average cost ended up being $7.25, so you guys know, or if you don't. Um, my average cost is usually, I try to keep it under three bucks. Sometimes it's closer to like a dollar. Uh, I shop a lot at the Goodwill outlet, which is paid by the pound. So low cost of goods, this is high cost of goods for me. Um, and that's mostly because there were a couple items that were like expensive. So I will give you guys the exact amounts that I paid for the items rather than just going by the average because some things I would not have paid $7 for. So you will see. Um, the very last thing that I found is the very first thing on the top. I have the bag right here. Um, it was $4.99. $4.99! And it was nothing special. I saw it like hanging on the rack. And I, I actually walked by it once. And I, I saw it, but I didn't look at it. And then I went to give my go backs to the person at the fitting room because they're closed, right? So I just was going to put it on the rack, but there was someone there. And I turned around and the purses are right there. So I looked at it again. And then I saw what that said right there. You can't really read it, can you? Can you read it now? Can you read it now? Can you read it now? Bed still. If you guys don't know, it's a really great brand. Um, they usually make a lot of shoes. I've never seen a purse from them before, but this is also like bed stew style. Just kind of like hyper distressed. Looks like it's been sitting in a forest for like 20 years. And then someone picked it up and was like, this is a great bag. Um, <laughs> gosh, I'm a child. So I think that this is supposed to go inside. And then it's like, it's supposed to be like this. I don't know. I'll have to look it up. It uh, has a nice long crossbody strap. I don't sell a lot of purses. I don't know very much, but I figured for $4, $5, I guess, $4.99 worth picking up but too, like I said is a very good brand so if you find their shoes you definitely need to be buying their shoes this is a free people this is extra small I paid $5.50 for this like kind of Asian inspired floral here with like a contrasting sleeve it's like a little bomber so I know that some of their stuff can be really sought after. This just feels like a piece that if like you saw it and you liked it, you might like go looking for it on Poshmark. I don't know. I haven't looked it up yet. I will find out if it's worth anything. Uh -huh. This was the item that sparked the whole thing. Um, was this Love Shack Fancy sweater. It, I paid $6.50. And it's a little like crop sweater with these crazy shoulders but of course I then had to go look at the dresses and then after the dresses I was like all right maybe I'll look at the tank tops or the peasant tops and then uh, I saw a bunch of good stuff in like the size small of the long sleeves and then I was looking through the size small of every single section and uh, that's where I found a bunch of this stuff so <laughs> but this was the item that started it all left check fancy I don't know how well they like sweaters do necessarily their dresses are very good um, but I thought it was cute, so I bought it. This is a sundry size four, four fifty. It's really low for this value village. They had so much stuff that was like too expensive to buy, which is unfortunate. But 
I did also have a 20% off coupon. I feel like I should have said that at the beginning. I got to the counter and I was like, how close am I to my $20 or 20% off? Because they have like a reward system where if you spend, I think, 100 bucks, you get 20% off coupon. Well, I bought a couch there for my office like last week and I was like okay I have to be getting close and then I bought dishes and a bunch of other stuff for the office and I always mention my phone number and I'm like I should be there if I'm not there I don't know why not <laughs> and um she's like oh yeah you have one and I was like perfect so everything was 20% off um 450 really cute really soft I think a size 4 is like an XL maybe it kind of looks like an extra large it's short but it looks like an extra large and it's just a cheetah print like an animal print I guess I always say cheetah my my default is cheetah do you guys have a default animal print that you say like cheetah leopard jaguar I think animal I just I usually put my instinct which is always cheetah <laughs> And then I put the word animal print also in my listing. So if someone's like looking for cheetah print, it will come up where if they're like me and their default is cheetah print. I don't actually know what the print is, but it's okay. This is a really pretty Vince sweater. Size, small, 100% cashmere. Look at that. Uh, I did pay $7.50 for this. And that's because I have sold Vince cashmere for lots of money in the past. Why does that look like it's stained? Can you guys see that? There's like a line right here. What is that? That's upsetting. This might be going back. <laughs> I don't know why it's like that. It's almost like it got sun dyed or something. I don't know. But it is really pretty. <laughs> it's like a ribbed wide sleeve sweater i've sold one of my highest sales from last year was a 100 percent cashmere hoodie from vince sold for a hundred dollars or it was more no it was a hundred um also it's kind of coming apart right here so this one might be going back i guess i didn't look it over that well <laughs> or the lighting in the store is just poor i'm probably gonna return that one yeah all right this is one of the items that i did pay up for it is a Kate Spade dress. I've had good luck selling Kate Spade dresses for a good amount of money in the past. Size four, I did pay $15.50 for it. It's really pretty though. It's got like a crocheted overlay. It's like a sheath style scalloped hem. It's really fun. It's kind of classic looking and it has that little bow zipper pull like they mostly do. I don't know that they all do, but a lot of the newer pieces do. I just thought it was really nice. Figure when we come back around, this could be worn for a lot of occasions. So, someone's gonna want it. This, I was surprised to see so cheap. They had a lot of Madewell that wasn't marked up. Um, size medium, but this was 350. Put it right side up. <laughs> it's a little cropped sweater. It does have some tilling, which I think is why they had it marked low but it's not a mock neck sweater i think that someone's gonna still want this the sleeves are like two different lengths you need to stretch out the fabric and take a, a sweater shaver to it basically this is a pair of glider leggings they wanted 3.99 and i said okay i have one other piece from them in my closet but these are actually really nice they remind me okay so not exactly so don't yell at me a lot of the like what is it sweet stripe that's not right quiet stripe from lululemon uh but like the opposite so if you guys haven't heard of that maybe i'll put a little right here this is a major bolo from lululemon uh it's the quiet stripe and usually it's the leggings so that's what's the money it's a white legging with black stripes so this is a black legging with white stripes like a zebra you know uh yeah so keep an eye out for this but these are a glider legging size extra small they're cute uh this is the glider logo it's a little bird and it's shiny there was another thing from them that was there that was cheap but it did not have a size in it or a tag it actually like didn't even have a tag that said glider it just saw the logo and i was like oh that's glider 
but alas, I left it behind because I didn't want to have to deal with not having a size and not having the actual brand name printed on there. And I feel like someone was going to yell at me and I didn't want to deal with that. <laughs> okay, two things. Throw the bag on the floor. Gymshark. Did buy these Gymshark leggings. These are like the ones you like, people like, with the V in the back. And there's a nice logo. They smell so distinctly of laundry detergent that even if I wash them with my like free, like I use scent free laundry detergent, probably won't come out. So I'll have to just note it in the listing. But size medium. I paid ten fifty. So minus ten fifty minus Oh, they ended up being eight forty. Sorry. The receipt is right there. And I'm looking at it and trying to decipher what numbers mean what <laughs> as I'm just standing here holding these. So they're just a crap. They're definitely not full length. They're like probably mid calf. Uh, little leggings. Last and the most expensive. Uh, they had a lot of Lululemon there. And a lot of it was too expensive for what it was. So like tank tops are like 15. They had a men's t-shirt for 18. They had quite a few like bottoms, but they were all like way too expensive. They even had a shawl that I loved, but it was 40 and I was like, no. Like I had put it in my cart and I was like, okay, maybe I'll get this for me. They're available for 25 bucks on Poshmark. Like if I want to get one, I'll just go to Poshmark and buy one. Even with the shipping, it's cheaper than buying it at the thrift store. So no, uh, <laughs> I was like, I don't think shawls sell for that much on Poshmark and they don't, but I did buy these for 20. So the reason I got these is because they are a very classic style, like a jogger style. Sorry, someone's running outside, <laughs> distracting me. So they're a tapered leg. They're really nice, like almost like work from home, work casual pant. So they're a tapered pant and they're like gathered at the waist. These just feel very modern and very much like something someone wants in this like day and age. So they're a size two. And the logo is one of those like hidden ones where you kind of can't really see it that well. Um, or I can't see it at all. <laughs> Trying to find it. It's on the leg. It's one of the matte ones. So definitely appropriate for wearing out and not just, it's, it's more athleisure wear than anything. I was hoping to find the little size dot and it would have a style number on it. Yeah, size dot, I can find you. Yeah. So this is like the newest. I don't know if you guys have seen this. So Lululemon has their style number like around the edge of the size dot. You've probably seen that before. More recently, they have had like this extremely long set of numbers. So you guys can see it here. Let's see if it will focus on that right there. Look at how many numbers are there. A lot. A lot more numbers than there used to be. There's like a bunch of zeros. So I noticed that on the newest pieces. It's like that. Actually, I kind of want to go grab my leggings I just ordered. They're right here. So I recently bought these. These are an aligned pant. I don't love them. Um, I don't think I'm going to wear them enough. Anyway, do the aligns have a size dot? Now I'm like, shoot, did I just go get that for nothing? Uh, yeah. See? These I literally just took out from the Lululemon website and it has all those numbers there. So these are going to indicate a very new piece. I don't know when they started doing that, but I, I noticed it very recently, like in the last probably year, if I had to give a, a time estimate on it, I don't actually know. Um, yeah. And I also don't know really how to read those. I mean, I guess this kind of, on here, this is probably the style number, but I still look on the Lemon Fanatics for everything. <laughs> I actually kind of find some sort of like relaxing puzzle, like it activates the puzzle part of my brain when I'm scrolling through Lemon Fanatics for something. <laughs> yeah, that is all that I got. 
Uh, so it's 10 pieces, average cost at $7.25. When you factor in some of this stuff, you're like, $7.25 is a pretty good price. But other things, I probably wouldn't have paid $7.25 for. So, probably won't average out the price. I do that a lot on things like from the bins or if my average price from Goodwill, if I bought a bunch of stuff, is like low enough, uh, I will just use the average price instead of the actual price so I don't have to type in all that information. Not that I really mind data entry considering that's like my job. <laughs> but that is everything that I got. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did end up liking it, please give me a thumbs up on this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't quite yet. And I will see you guys in my next one. I am uploading every Friday. So if you don't have notifications turned on, just keep an eye out every Friday for a new video from me. Bye.